What's up YouTube? This is James coming back at you with another informative video. Hope everybody's doing well out there on this Saturday morning. I'm doing real good myself. Shabbat Shalom brothers and sisters. Y'all know what it's all about. Worship and praises. Okay. Uh, I've been noticing, um, I've been seeing a lot of strange activity with animals and things that they're doing, you know. And not only that, I've been seeing some strange looking uh, animals start to appear. Things like, you know, they're discovering that they didn't know they actually exist. They are out there. I, I put together, you know, a little collaboration of what these animals are doing. And we want to start first with this particular video. Y'all check this out right here. I've never seen anything like this. Although I know uh, hawks or eagles or whatever are capable of doing this. But I've never seen one of them actually swoop down and pick up a shark and fly away with it. Check this out. That's amazing. That shark has to weigh a good, I don't know, how much does shark weigh? Probably about, what, 500 some pounds? He's got, him, he's got him looking like a guppy or something like that. Can somebody tell me what the hell is this thing right here? You understand? Looks like some form of bat, but I've never seen a bat that looks like that this this is what i'm talking about strange creatures are starting to show up you know what i mean I, i've never seen anything that looks like this this thing is actually hideous and it has like um the wings of <laughs> some kind of hell bat or something like that anybody in the comment section tell me what this is is if you know i'm interested in finding out this is what i'm talking about you know strange things just starting to you know, appear out of nowhere. Now, I want to show y'all another bat that looks like the size of a human. Check this out. Now, this is another bat, man-sized bat. And imagine seeing some shit like this hanging outside your damn door. You know what I mean? You, you just outside one night, you just decide to go outside and some shit like they're hanging. Like this is like Dracula when he turns into a damn bat. You know. Who wants to deal with some shit like this? It is said that this uh, bat right here is over in uh, the Philippines. You know, and he has a wingspan of six feet. You know? And they call him flying foxes. But hey, <laughs> that's neither here nor there for me. It looks like uh, uh, some kind of bat that uh, I know I wouldn't want to come across. You know? Um, Y'all check out this right here. Another surprise. Why are these animals doing the things that they do? It says here, four foot snake rings overland park man's doorbell. Okay. <laughs> Imagine your doorbell being rung. You go to the door to answer the damn door and come to find out a damn four headed snake. They said that this thing has a, well, no, there was another video i came across that said the damn thing had four heads okay but this says four foot so let me get clarify that right here now the story is uh kyle crane of overland park kansas didn't know what initially caused his ring doorbell to send him an alert monday night from first glance crane thought it was a lizard that rang the doorbell and caused him to get a notification on his phone okay yeah that's what that is but he quickly discovered it definitely was a was not a lizard um well it could have been because like i said i saw another story where a crocodile walked to a, up to a person's um door and knocked on it okay or ring the doorbell or some shit like this this is my question why are these animals doing the things that they're doing in this day and age but to continue here it says um not what I expected. Crane said in a video he shared with KMBC 9 News, it's a rat snake just hanging out on my ring doorbell. That ring doorbell thing is throwing me off, you know. Uh, I thought it was a, a lizard. I saw some motion and I was wondering how he got out here. Then I came out here and I see 
we have a snake, a four foot long rat snake to be exact. Rat snakes are quite common in Kansas and they pose no threats to humans. They are non-venomous snakes that kill by constriction, oh, okay, and can grow to between three to seven foot long. Crane safely relocated the snake to a creek nearby. All right, so then they're common snakes, but what's not common is he came and rung your doorbell. Let's check out this video. <laughs> Shit. Oh man, this is some old ad right here. Let's wait till they get by. There. So, not what I expected, but there is this snake, apparently rat snake of sorts, just hanging out on my, on my ring doorbell. I thought it was a lizard. I saw some motion. I was wondering how he got up there, but then come out here and and I see we have a snake. Probably, what, three feet? Thereabouts? Maybe a little more? I don't want to get too close and bug him. I mean, I'm definitely going to have to relocate this guy probably to the creek. Just down the road. Okay. Well, that's a one snake in a bag. And he's flaring his tail like a, he's trying to imitate a rattler. Typical rat snake move. Huh. Okay. I got him with those tongs. Just grab him by the head and put him in there. He wrapped himself around the tongs and now he's just in there. I'm going to take him to the creek. Come on, buddy. Go. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> now y'all know potentially shit like this has the potential <laughs> to go bad. <laughs> And we know to a certain peak kind of people always get fucked up. Come on, body. Go. Go live your life. Yeah. See Look at that. Shit. Beautiful. See, buddy. Get out here. Go to the creek. Go to the forest. Live your life. Probably wind up coming yeah, right back it. to your house. See ya. That's an omen. Here's another situation of an animal doing something very strange. But in this particular case, this animal happens to be drunk and wants to prove a point. As it says here, zoo idiot, drunk man tries to drown bear in front of horrific, well, horrified families after breaking into a zoo enclosure in Poland. These people are doing, well, no, no, these particular subs are doing some stuff. Stupid ass shit right here. See, let's check this particular video out. Yeah, I'm going to go to the 
Oni są w fosie na wodę. Co kurwa? To co tam właził, no co? No. Macie w chojraka zgrywa, a później będzie z młoteczkiem kurde. Dziadowstwo. No po co tam wszedł? Po co tam wszedł? Pilnował kolegę, trzeba pilnować kolegów, no. A to nie mój kolega, kurwa, pierdol. Bo kurwa i ty nie zaraz wymyślił. Ty. Do Duranta się nazywaj swoich kolegów, koleżko. Like I said, animals doing very strange things these days. Now, you know, that bear was obviously in a playing mood when that dumbass jumped in that enclosure. When he went in there in the first place, the bear just was in a playing mood. He must have been used to human beings or what have you. Because otherwise, he would have mauled that dumbass for jumping in there in the first place, you see. Y'all tell me what y'all think about uh, these uh, situations right here with these animals and what what exactly are they trying to tell us, okay? I'm interested in hearing y'all thoughts, views, and opinions on this uh, particular story. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. People, please remember to live your life as though we are being watched. Simply because we are, this is James, and I'm out. Peace.